Captain, how old is the GSV Remarkable? The ship? This one. The Remarkable? Mm -hmm. I'd say probably 35, do you say? 40? No. Actually, the GSV Remarkable is 82 years old, to be exact. Escort Lieutenant Jada to the brig. <laughs> My next guest is the director of the web series Voyage Trekkers, Nathan Blackwell, everybody. Hi. Thank you very much. Hey, thank you for coming on. Uh, You're the director of Voyage Trekkers, and uh, you also have your own studio called Squishy? Yeah, Squishy Studios. Squishy Studios, yeah. okay. So uh, I have to ask, we uh, were table mates at uh, Comic-Con. We were right, in, in, in this exact same setup That's right here. You were, yeah, absolutely there we go. right. We're Can simulating just... it right now. <laughs> oh, hello. And, uh, a lot of people are ignoring us. So right, right. Like Take Comic -Con. this postcard. <laughs> oh. Can you want to read my new comic? Uh, okay, so we, we recreated that. Perfect. <laughs> I, I want to say thanks on record forever um, because uh, the Comic-Con map had me on a corner, but uh, they are subject to change that layout at any time. So you had the corner table, but they also offered this weird opportunity where we could scoot our tables up two feet if we want. Yeah, it, 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 it was unclear because you were the only one who actually scooted him up. Well, I, I, I said I could. <laughs> right. Well, you, you could also see the lines and, and everyone else was just gun shy about it. Yeah, it was really weird. Was a guy a... came by with masking tape while we were all sitting up before the show and said, you could scoot up your table if you want. And I asked him, what if other people don't? And I right. just, I'm the only one, so you'd be the only one. So you were kind enough not to scoot up and still give me something of a corner as folks can see, recreated here by the couch in this desk, basically. Right. So I just, I just want to say thanks again for doing that because sure. you're totally going to be like, no way, I want that extra two feet of exposure. <laughs> but uh, you are the director of Voyage Trekkers, and it's a web series that is essentially a Star Trek spoof. Is that a fair... Yeah, yeah, I guess satire, since it's not directly like referencing Star Trek, it's kind of silly sci-fi, you know, kind of like how Galaxy Quest isn't directly Star Trek. Sure. We're, we're kind of like siblings in that sense to where it's like the same inspiration, but we've made up st names for our own, you know, stuff. And it's its its, its own little invented universe, but cool. the references are obvious. And was it created to be a Star Trek spoof or did you have a, a sci-fi story in mind that kind of skewed more to um, it? It was, it was it, we, you know, so Squishy Studios, we have we just celebrate our, our 10th anniversary. Wow, um, um, so we, we did a, a screening at Film Bar for that, um, but uh, no, I was just, I love sci-fi and I was chomping at the bit to do sci-fi and, and we really hadn't sunk our teeth into something fun like that. Um, and I don't know, I, I, mean, I mean, I love Star, Star Trek, I also love Star Wars, I mean, sure. I, I love a lot of things, but for some reason just that, that Star Trek setup of the crew and the daily and, and then the 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 episodic nature of their stories kind of opens itself more to kind of comedy sure. in, in my mind you know whereas like star wars it's it was kind of like the difference between like you know a tv show and a movie it's like a single set circumstance versus like reoccurring adventures that's true do you think star so. wars could exist as a, as a tv show a, um yeah oh, yeah i mean like star wars rebels and things like that sure. you just got to yeah. change the format that's so. true so it's all locally produced, right? You guys are shooting Yeah, so, so we've done um, two seasons, uh, each season about 10 episodes. Wow. Um, so about uh, 20 episodes in all. Um, and then we, as we were doing the seasons, we had also put out like behind the scenes content, like, you know, sort of like what you'd see on a DVD extra kind of thing. Sure. Uh, but yeah, all local. You know which, I'll, I'll just bring this out now so it's handy. You guys have DVD collections. Yeah, That's so we just came out with the uh, the Blu-ray cool. with uh, both uh, season one and season two on Very it. Very cool. And, okay. and um, uh, we'll, we'll be selling that on our website. So Which is voyagetrekkers.com. Right, you didn't right. Net. No, no, we, 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 we got on early. We splurged. Yeah, when the internet first came around, <laughs> we, we better snatch that. So, um, yeah, so it, it's all locally produced. Um, uh, the uh, we started in 2011, um, and then uh, each season takes about two years to do. Cool. So. And I looked at the website, obviously, a little research before you came on, and uh, the behind-the-scenes photos and stuff. The sets look fantastic. The makeup amazing. is amazing. I mean, this is a real production. <laughs> so I got to ask, where are you getting? Uh, uh, so so from? <laughs> you can't make money making a web series. That's that's the really? unfortunate thing. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I mean, 
So, so, so basically, no one on no one on the cast or the crew uh, makes any money. Okay, so, so this so is everyone, a true labor of love. Yeah, so everyone's volunteering their time. But you know what? That's also very much like uh, the Federation. Nobody was making money in Star Trek. I know, Trek. right? It, yeah. That, that was just, hey, you know what? Space it's communism. Money's, uh, <laughs> space communism. Mm -hmm. <laughs> money's obsolete in the future. Uh-huh. Uh, we are just going to yeah. travel for fun. So, so, you know, like watching, you know, um, like something that our series would do is like watching Star Trek The Next Generation. I, I would say that's more of an inspiration than... Than sure. the original series, um, and it's like you know to have an aside. It's like, dude, are you? What are you doing for money? I mean, they don't pay us. It's like, when we go to other planets, how do you like buy stuff? You know, it's like, how do you get you know, a little fun? You know, and so. And so some of these That's is for... a good point, because they right. always went to Ryza, and they were just uh -huh. like, ah, hookers well, and booze everywhere. It's a Federation planet, so they're like, oh, okay. they're probably building up like some sort of, you know, some kind of credit or something right. like that. I'm sure there's some kind of currency or, or, or some sort of like tier system sure. that they can just, oh, I'll just get a house in Germany or whatever like that. It's right. like, oh, okay, great. You're tier five, you know, <laughs> it's, or, or it's, it's like, a, like you're, you're an emerald Germany, level. Right? Come on in, you know, <laughs> right. <laughs> Riker's going to data like, come on, just a little more. I need a little right. more. And he's like, I do not have it, but okay, uh, <laughs> so that's cool you guys are investing in this project yeah the labor of love right locally produced again which is very cool very important to me and uh what goes into the process do you guys have like a writer's room and you script out a series um, a season? yeah there's we we have kind of figured out a process it's it's um Usually the, the the writers are are myself and then my friend Craig Curtis who was actually at the booth. Oh cool. Yeah. Um you see only the writers were gullible enough to man the booth of the whole <laughs> Comic Con. Um and then They're used to sitting at tables. Right. So we're we're kind of the brain trust when it comes to the story and then what'll happen is that I go down and, and then I write the screenplay and then I direct. So. Oh, okay, very cool. So you're like the Michael Uslan. Of the one of those, yeah, yeah, right. You know, am I right? Am I no, here? I don't know. <laughs> oh, I think he was one of the next generation oh, writer okay. directors or something like that. All right, I'm allowed to show my cards a little bit too much. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Uh, what do you think about the current state of sci-fi? Because what really intrigues me about this, and I'm really excited right. to dive in, is a lot of stuff is just uh, you know rehash, reboot, and, right. and, and looking at the behind-the-scenes photos for this. I got really excited about some new looks, new ideas, and things. Oh, thank you. And you just don't get that from a lot of stuff, right? You know? Well, we we both didn't want to comment on stuff that everyone else is commenting on. We're also not really trying to be like super topical. Like we're we wouldn't. It's like if we were doing season three, we wouldn't touch on the J.J. Abrams. I mean, we you know, it's like season two was during the first J.J. Abrams one. Sure. And maybe we had a couple lens flares in there, but we didn't. We weren't. <laughs> we weren't specifically trying to lampoon anything. Sure. Um, it, instead, it was just kind of like once we knew the world, what were the things that we felt were funny or silly or ridiculous that kind of came out of the character or just out of our kind of like general love of sci-fi you sure. know it's like one of the episodes we never ended up doing but it's like it'd be great if they go to a planet where the gravity is like 10 times heavier <laughs> and just everything just becomes such a pain in the ass you know <laughs> <laughs> and and then the comedy also comes out of the characters too because the whole premise is that they're 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 the worst starship in the galaxy oh, okay. you know um and so so, so basically, they're they're kind of like the equivalent of like if you screw up in the military, they send you to the Alaska, the, the Antarctica, you know, communication sure. bunker. Do they that, know that? that they're yeah, like, okay. yeah. So they know. <laughs> so that their ship is like the dumping ground. It's like, well, we can't convict him. Let's put him on the, you know. <laughs> He's working engineering now. Yeah, and, and so that's really the kind of the, the premise is that everyone is kind of dumped there and they can't get off. Oh, that's a great... It almost sounds like the office of Star Trek. Isn't yeah, that exactly. Right? There's even an HR director who we never meet. So. <laughs> oh, <yeah>. <laughs> right. <laughs> that's very cool. Oh, man, even the future is still vulnerable to HR directors. Yeah. <laughs> Can you imagine? I know, right? It's th it probably consolidated more power. Yeah. You know, you're staring yeah. at an alien's like six breasts and mm -hmm. they're like, hey, don't objectify that. Like, there's six. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's right. the whole torso. I, 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 did, I wasn't looking at the bottom two, I promise. <laughs> hey, my five eyes are up here. Right. My five eyes are up here. <laughs> Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's awesome. So how was Comic-Con for you guys? Uh, it was good. It, it, we, 
um, it may be our last just because since, so what we're doing is we're not doing the web series anymore, but we are shooting more voyage trekkers. Um, we're going to be shooting um, in August uh, a half hour episode. How and long so, is a usual episode? Uh, five minutes, five to, five to eight oh, minutes. Oh, wow, yeah, in so. and out. So as a viewer, that's Yeah, so, awesome. so basically like a season is an hour. Okay. And so it's more kind of done for the attention span of the web. Sure. You know, oh, just little, little bits. You kind of get the moment. You kind of get the moment that, you know, that uh, you know, it's like a normal adventure, and then we cut into the moment where it totally gets screwed up. Yeah. You know. I'm gonna watch an episode over here on Second and Jefferson tonight. I'm just gonna just have the red light. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You can watch it on your phones, but buy the Blu-ray. Of course. Okay? The special features. Spe commentary tracks. Only available. Um, Supports the filmmakers. Absolutely. Um, but yeah, so we're, we're the the big thing that we're just in the middle of right now is we um, it, it, it's uh, we're doing like a, 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 a it's I wouldn't call it a spec pilot, but it's like a TV episode. So it's okay, like sure. a twenty two minute structured exactly like TV. Um, we're putting in a little more production value than we did on the web series. Um, and yeah, we're shooting it this August. That's really exciting. The hottest month of the year. So I be on like yeah. a hot desert planet. There is some. Uh, there is a hot desert exterior for at least one day. That's so. good. So makeup won't have to spray sweat on it. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. Authentic. So when you're mm -hmm. watching, you'll know that's real. Those yeah. pit stains mm -hmm. are absolutely real. Don't mm -hmm. be splashing water under an actor's right. arms or anything. Right. And we will film the space scenes in space. That's wow, what, yeah. that is purely authentic. Uh, yeah. Unbelievable. <laughs> desert planet, we're in a desert. Space, we're in space. Yeah. That's the future of mm -hmm. filmmaking, man. That's the only stuff you can do with DIY. Yeah, yeah. We couldn't afford special effects, but we well, had a rocket. The studio's going to come back with notes like, hey, right. we can't afford space. And you're going to uh -huh. be like, ah, come on. It's Netflix. Um, so you were at Comic-Con. You knew about the big kerfuffle. Right. Did that yeah. affect your uh your um, it's no, juicy. It's you popular. know, I, I guess I guess Friday was a little slow, but you know, honestly, like with Saturday, Saturday and Sunday, it was still a good vibe. There wasn't like, right. you know, everyone who wanted to be there was happy to be there. Sure. And so it, you know, at the inconveniences and kerfuffles um, uh, didn't really translate into people's energy on the floor. That's and that's that I agree, and that was a good feeling. Did you feel uh, unsafe at all? No, or? no. Because people really. are out, people have been asking me how close did you see it? Right. Like that. And it's like they don't maybe don't know how big the area is, and that's happening yeah. outside a, a story and a, a mile away from. Yeah, and then also, I mean, it didn't. I mean, you know, you saw the photos, you, you read the articles, but it, it also didn't seem real. It was a, it was so weird. It's like that's true. The Punisher is coming to kill the Green Ranger. You know, it's right, like, yeah. right. <laughs> That's something I'd buy at a, like, the quarter bin, not yeah. what you want to experience for real. Yeah, so it, 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 it was a little surreal, too. Yeah, so. but I'm glad you had a great show, and uh, well, I hope you do do future shows, oh, because thank you. I think you're bringing something so unique to the community, and this looks so professional. I oh, mean, thank this you. This is amazing. I'm done. I mean, I'm, in all sincerity, like, I'm proud to know you, because look at that. That is a Blu-ray disc. How do you make a Blu-ray disc? <laughs> This goes writing novels on typewriters. You're making Blu-ray discs. I, I had to teach myself how to do it. So. That's a, absolutely amazing. So people could find this at voyagetrekkers.com. They right. can like Voyage Trekkers on Facebook. We, we are on the Facebooks um, and then Does Twitter. Does social media exist in the future? Uh, yeah, that? they have Spacebook. Spacebook. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's hilarious. Cool. Okay. So. And uh, in the future, do... Uh, does like the captain's girlfriend check out his uh, space book when he's not looking? Oh no no he doesn't have a girlfriend. Oh okay. Yeah. Gay. He he, no, he he he's very sad. Oh okay. Kind of emo. <laughs> right. Kind of emo guy. That's no cool. no it, it's like you know he's they're they're all a little sad and desperate in their own little way and so <laughs> it, he's kind of the anti James Kirk to where he's just like you know it's like you know just trying to meet girls and it's and so he has to make up things to his friends oh yeah i met this one girl like this and that and you you get to see him and he's just a uh, sad tourist you know <laughs> <laughs> tourists so, I mean, yeah you think about it that's what they usually were they called yeah. away teams and then they got there and the friend you're like look at these tourists mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that's awesome well nathan congratulations on oh, thank this. you so much uh, good luck on the uh, production of the uh, 22 minute episode oh great thanks, thanks for being here man nathan cool. thank Blackwell, you. everybody thank you.